Hey guys, so here's my review on Green Lantern Issue 2. Green Lantern Issue 2 picks off, um, uh, picks up after, um, where, um, Issue 1 left off, where Sinestro asks Hal Jordan, um, to help him. And if only if he wants his ring back, he has to help Sinestro. Now, Hal Jordan's response was, was not a good response. He actually gets kind of upset. Um, because he lost his ring, and Sinestro has it now, and the ring chose him, and he believes, of course, Sinestro is not a good person. Um, so he's like, oh, you don't deserve the ring, and tries to fight Sinestro without his ring. And of course, Sinestro can kill him in a mere thought. Um, and actually, Sinestro bring, brings that up, that he can kill him. Now, um, Sinestro actually creates a ring for Hal, and he gives him the ring. But as he give, before he gives him the ring, he tells him that the reason why um, the Guardians chose him as a Green Lantern and the reason to be a Green Lantern is to um, protect the universe, to protect the world that, or protect the planet that you were, you know, supposed to protect, to look after. And of course he says, and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to make that world a better place. And he said, you're supposed to use your power to create a better world. But have you done that, Hal? And, you know, Hal thinks none other than to use the ring that, um, that uh, Sinestro just created him and try to kill Sinestro. But Sinestro tells him, your ring, I can turn it on and off. I created it. So I can give you as much power as you need or I can turn it off. So basically, Hal is Nestro's bitch, or um, basically is his slave. Sorry, um, but yeah, um, he tells him that, you know, you have to be my slave. Um, whatever I tell you to do, you must do it. And if you don't obey, I will take your powers away. You won't be able to use your ring. And, of course, later on, Hal hears, you know cry for help and of course the bridge is breaking um, and it's falling apart and um, there's a lady falling down and he goes up and saves her and you know she, she, she's like oh you're a green lantern and he's like oh yeah I am I guess so and right then and there Sinestro turns off his ring and he doesn't have his power anymore and the girl falls down and Hal watches her fall and he tells Sinestro, you must save these people, you have to help them, give me back my power. And Sinestro said, no, I need to teach you a lesson. And, you know, of course Sinestro doesn't let them die, he actually saved everybody. He rebuilds the uh, bridge back and everything's okay now. But he tells Hal that on his planet, um, they don't see the Green Lantern as a savior, but as a hero. Savior as in, you know... He's there to save the world. He's there to change the world. But as a superhero, you know, he's here to protect everybody. Now, that's what Sinestro thinks, that you should be a savior. You're supposed to make the world a better place. You're not supposed to, you, you know. Seeing you as a hero is not a good thing. The ring is supposed to make you a savior of that world, to save it. But, yeah. Then um, he tells um, Hal that he needs to use the ring for none other than one thing because the bridge was attacked by a Sinestro Corp member. And that Sinestro Corp member, I'm sorry if I pronounced his name wrong, is it Gorg? 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 That's how I pronounce his name, Gorg, Gorg. Attacks Sinestro and calls him a traitor, of course. And as he tries to kill Sinestro, he says, whoever kills Sinestro takes his place in the uh, Sinestro Corp and becomes the leader. Of course he fails. And gets killed by Sinestro because, dude, Sinestro was your leader. Why would he be killed by, off by just a simple mere um, Sinestro Corps member or like, you know, like that? And then he gets killed off and he tells Hal, um, my world has been, or my planet has been taken over by my corpse, my, the Sinestro Corps. They have enslaved my people and you must help me to save them if you want your power back. So, I guess Hal Jordan has to save, um... Um, Sinestro's plan in order to, you know, get his ring back. Um, I have to say, I really like this issue, um, between telling us, you know, what Sinestro's idea of a Green Lantern is, because he was a Green Lantern before, and then he became a dictator, 
then he became a villain, but you actually get a sense of what his intentions were or how his intentions to be a lantern or a ring bearer is supposed to be a savior and stuff like that. And also you get to see a bit, it's cool to see how in his Green Lantern costume. And yeah, arts here is really great. I would recommend you guys pick this up too. Pick up number one if you guys haven't. Um, yeah, check out Green Lantern issue number two. I highly recommend it. Uh, check it out. So yeah, that's my review on it.